Hey, this is uh, Taylor, and this is just a quick video showing you how to find orphan pages using Screaming Frog. Um, so before you get started, uh, the first thing I would want to do is just to um, kind of like set up the crawl or the pages you're going to want to crawl on the website. So when it comes to Screaming Frog, I find that sometimes um, pages sometimes aren't fully crawled. Um, say if your internal linking might have issues and um, you have a lot of JavaScript that might prevent um, some of the pages on your website from being discovered. So before you begin to crawl, I just recommend coming to uh, configuration over here, spider, and then down here over to uh, sitemaps, and then you're going to want to add all of the sitemaps that are found on your website. Uh, so by doing this, you're basically giving Screaming Frog all of the URLs on your website. Um, you're making it, making it accessible for them, and you're also making it more likely to find all of the URLs on your website that you want indexed. So um, once you have that and you have your crawl running, uh, you're going to want to come over here to this little like drop down menu, and you're going to want to click the links tab. So once you have this open, you're going to want to come over here to unique in links and in links too, and you're going to want to filter from lowest to highest. So in most cases, you're going to have um, at least one unique internal link. And this is usually going to become, this is usually going to be from blog content. So this is usually meaning that this content is found um, kind of within the uh, pagination of the blog content. But honestly, that's still not going to be enough, especially if you have a higher crawl depth of, um, around this kind of like five position. Uh, you, you're five clicks away from the home page, specifically when you're found on um, uh, paginated pages. So if you see one, you're most likely going to want, want to add more internal links from other relevant pages. So I would just use this tab over here to just kind of come down this list and find all of the internal links on your website that only have this one, um, this one inter uh, unique internal link. And one thing you also want to look at is just the crawl depth. So you can see in this case, some of these pages aren't even found in the crawl depth. So this basically means that um, Screaming Frog doesn't know where this is. Um, it's probably buried so deep within the pagination that um, Screaming Frog can't find it. And if Screaming Frog likely can't find it, then that means it's also challenging for Google to find it as well. So you can come over here. You can set custom filters if you want. Um, you could have equal, um, in links. You can only show um, in links that have one or two, whatever range you want. And then you could also set your, uh, you could also add another filter that sets your crawl depth to um, crawl depth. So all in all, very easy. I recommend once you're done with this, just uh, taking this, exporting to a spreadsheet, and then just uh, going through all these pages and adding internal links where relevant. So uh, yeah. Hope you found this helpful.